When so many people are hungry and dying, where do you start? We know there's enough to go around. But still, so much poverty. Where do you start? You start here. Leaders from 189 countries have signed up to end poverty. Make them keep their promise, now. We have a plan. The Millennium Development Goals. We have the money and the means. What we want is action. When I write about stars, I try and use them differently. I'm not really talking about stars at all. Behind the words, there is a social and sexual context. Genia is a poet. She's also one of very few from her Sao Paulo slum to go to university. My future is literature. Literature is about everyone's future. <laughs> Goal number two is primary education for all. It's like a support for everything in life. Without education, we can't get a job. Education breeds skills and confidence, but in poor countries, one child in three doesn't finish primary school. For many kids, going to school isn't yet an option. Most of the world's poor live in rural areas. There simply may not be a school to go to. And many children have to work to help feed their families. The oldest and the little ones. I am trying to get them to school if I have money. But if I don't, well then, we'll just have to see what happens. In this Sri Lankan village, the children launched a campaign to get working kids back to class. You shouldn't stop going to school. You can do this. From 8 to 2, you go to school. After that, you can go to the shop to work. Post-tsunami, it will take massive efforts to get education back on track here. But where there's kids, there's hope. Even in the slums of Delhi. Deepak survives on the streets by collecting rubbish. We think that if we are educated, we could become a doctor, an engineer or someone. This kind of hope and desire in our hearts is what keeps us alive. He goes to an informal school set up by a local night shelter, held at a train station. Deepak knows education is his way out. He and his friends even write their own newsletter. Whatever our dreams, we'll print them and we'll show the world. I know we are poor, but we've also got rights and they should be given to us. That's why our child's paper is working. We, the children, have made it. If everything works out, I hope to become a nurse. Then I could still earn money, even if I got married. This education will help me achieve my goal. Anyango's homeland, Uganda, is one country that's on target for meeting goal two. In 1994, less than a third of Ugandan kids went to primary school. Now it's 97%. It's a question of priorities. Across the world, many families prioritize educating sons over daughters. No, younger sisters don't go to school. It's not good, because if you go to school, tomorrow you'll become something. Over half of all children who should be in schools but aren't are girls. This isn't just bad for girls, it's bad for nations. Educated women earn more and have fewer children with higher survival rates. They're more likely to educate their own children, including the girls. Investing in gold too is investing in the future. Our poet sums it up. If I was the president, I would look into education because by providing better education, you are able to build up a nation. Goal 2. Primary education for all. The Millennium Development Goals. Make our leaders keep their promises. Eight goals, one world, no excuses. <laughs> 